All right. Welcome back to the Iron Man Progress video series. We are here completing a hard task in the Ardoin area, which is to pick poison ivy berries off of a bush. Figured it's a pretty cool way to start off an episode. We've never done that with a hard task, diary task being completed. Pretty sweet. These are nice to have because you can use them to keep Calquat trees from dying. And those are pretty good XP, pretty uh, integral part of my little farm run thing that I do. So good thing to just like set up little bushes all over the place. And kind of whenever you run by them, just spend 30 seconds picking all the bushes and then dump them in your bank. Another perk of being an Iron Man. Okay, so we are going to do some crazy archaeologists to see if we can get a rune crossbow. I don't know if I'll be PK'd. I don't know how many people I'll see. I don't even know if I can kill them. I'm barely wearing any armor. I haven't done this in forever. The last time I did this on my UIM, like maybe three years ago. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll just get spooned the rune crossbow. One kill down. That was pretty easy. Haven't seen anybody yet. We got a rusty sword. We'll keep going. I think this is the first boss or like anything really other than for the rune scimitar that we have like done a grind to get an item i think that's the first time we've done this on this account i think this is kind of a milestone got a muddy key i think that's used for the wilderness diary so i guess we'll go do that when we have to re-up which is soon because i didn't bring a lot of death runes because i thought i might be killed oh there it is all right our two rune crossbows awesome and just when we were about to have to re-up so that was super easy. Yeah, wow. And I got an extra one for a stash. So this was excellent. I guess we'll just head back to Barox Enclave and uh, move on to the next thing. Wow, that was like seven kills. And we got the muddy key. Awesome. Beginner clue. Surprise we haven't done this yet, but 65 attack and 65 strength means we can enter the Warriors Guild. Now, the only reason that anybody outside of UIMs coming to stock up on food and potions ever comes here is for the Dragon Defender. We need the Dragon Defender, so we're here. I looked it up, and it seems like Mithril is the best armor to just attack, and it, it, it strikes the best balance at my level between, like, number of coins and ease to kill. So we'll just sit here and we will attack this mithril armor and we'll rack up just a ton of coins because we're going to need a lot because I am never lucky with these dragon defenders. We had to stop at the Warriors Guild for a while. We'll be hanging here at Sand Crabs for a while, just training up our defense. Uh, and then we'll jump right back into the Warriors Guild grind when we get a chance. A lot of AFK time later, and there is 62 defense up from 55. So we, uh, we are ready to return to the Warriors Guild. And that's that. Here we are. We have entered into our second grind on the account, the first being for the Rune Crossbow, which only lasted seven kills. It'd be cool if this only lasted seven kills, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I believe that these first ones are like one in 50, and then the Dragon Defender is one out of 100. So we'll be here for a while. So I killed 56 Cyclops, and I realized that that's a way more AFK activity than I thought, and I didn't feel like doing it right now. But I feel like going back to Temporos. So we'll be here for a little while, and then as we did earlier, we will collect our rewards and head back when we feel like doing something else. Maybe we'll be Slayer, I don't know. Okay, so we finished up at Temporos for a little bit. We'll be back. I'm not going to collect the rewards until I have like a decent amount. But in the meantime, I think we're going to go try some Wilderness Slayer real quick. The Wilderness rework is happening in a few days. So I want to make sure that I get into the Wilderness before it becomes like this mass of people. So taking the Waka Canoe from Lumbridge to Edgeville is a hard task. And then I will uh, gear up and take the canoe into the Wilderness as well because I believe it takes you right to where the Moss Giants are. Apparently making a Waka canoe at Edgeville is also a hard task, so we just knocked out two tasks immediately. So we're just going to chill here, kill these Moss Giants. They're level 42, so I don't even think I'll, they'll be doing too much damage to me. It is single combat, meaning that I could get out of a PK thing a lot easier. I didn't bring a teleport, which is something I'm just realizing, but that's fine. I'm in level 38 wilderness anyway, so I'd have to tank them and run all the way south for a while. I'm not really feeling like doing a ton of combat, but uh, like I said, the wilderness update is coming soon and I don't want to get like stuck with this place being like a monstrous 
haven of people and I haven't killed any of these guys. So I figure I'll just hang here for a little bit, finish out this wilderness task, and then probably just switch over to regular Slayer. I'm, I'm not yet 85 combat, meaning I can't go to Neve, but wilderness is about to be crazy with the rework. So it's probably smart for me to stay out of it for a while. Already saw PK or had to hop. He started chasing me, but I was in combat. And so right when I finished, I just kind of ran away. I won't lose anything other than, you know, all of these lobsters, but uh, I still don't really feel like dying. I would be super annoying. Hey, got my first mossy key. That's pretty cool. I can go kill a uh, bryophyta and maybe get spooned the essence and then have that really cool staff. But oh, look, and limpward seed and insult giant head. Nice. If I get a Laren's key, I'll probably run in bank, but you know, I don't really care if I lose this Masi Kia. I'm not like super into the whole completionist thing. I mean, it'd be nice to do it for like the combat achievements and whatever, um, which I'll probably try and knock out as many as I can when I'm in there. I'll hold on to the Masi Kia and it'll be a nice like prize if I can make it out of here alive. I got three Masi Keys, so I'm just going to go back and bank and then we'll take another canoe back up there. I figure I could re-up on my pots again as well, maybe bring like a two dose or something for when they run out. But other than that one PK or I haven't seen anybody. Standard wilderness. No way. That is a one out of 5,000 drop. And I have killed 85 of these moss giants. Holy crap. <laughs> that is insane. That is so lucky. I'm kind of debating running back to like bank that. Just kind of how rare it is. But I also don't really care about the champion scroll, I think I'll just stay. If I get a few more mossy keys, then I'll leave. So I signed up a little bit ago, but uh, I'm using BA services to get my torso. I probably could have done it by just finding teams, but I've got all this money on my main account that I'm not using. And, uh, you know, the UIM has a bunch of money too. So I figured I'd just make this process a lot easier. Instead of spending three hours doing all this, I could just let these guys do it for me and I could do some editing or something. All right. And there it is, the fighter torso. I have never had this on any account. Shout out to the BA services guys. They are super professional, super nice. Made this whole thing a breeze. Let's check out the stats, by the way. I, I've never used it but plus four melee strength is pretty good and it looks like it's got some solid defensive bonuses as well is that yeah wow that's that's really good i didn't know that okay i thought it was just attack so sweet this thing will probably get a ton of use for the uh for the future but uh, let's go finish up that moss giants task real quick there's another task done had to escape another pker at the uh, end with like two kills left but i got lucky and his splashed his snare on me and then I was able to log out but I got another two mossy keys which brings us I think to five so it's worth taking a look at the combat achievements I guess and then like maybe going to do some bryophyta I don't know I mean if we can knock those out it'd be pretty sweet I don't know what they are but once we get back to the ferox enclave I guess I'll just take a look at those okay it looks like I can do most of these this one's just kill him this one is kill with protect from magic active this is without suffering poison damage I wonder if I could just use an anti-poison this is with poison or venom being the final source. I don't know how to do that. Free to play, easy, five times I can do that. And the three seconds is just like you get them all down to nothing and then use your little secateurs on them. Okay, so I have looked at everything I need to do. I brought a rune spear to poison the guy so that poison will be the last thing that happens to him. I actually have six keys. I just need to use this adamant axe on all his little dudes and kill them all within a second and that'll be easy because you can get them down to like one health. I need to have protect from magic on when I kill him and then I just need to drink this poison. So the only thing that I don't think I'll be able to do immediately is kill him on a free to play world because all my stuff is members. And I'd rather just have higher stats and come back later and just like decimate him with like a rune two hander that I get from somewhere. So we'll see how many times it takes me to kill him. I might use up like four of these just to see if I get any drops. I don't know. We'll see how the kills go. I should get like four or five combat achievements just on this first kill. Yeah, there it is. I have one, two, three, four. I didn't get to kill these guys because they came out like after he was already dead. But so I'll run out and do this again. There's the quick cutter task. Um, maybe I'll do one more, use up three of my three keys, and then I'll come back when I have another rune scimitar just to kill him easier. Or I might just do the five kills and then come back with a rune scimitar. I think I'll do that. Okay, this is interesting. I just got a rune longsword from killing him. So I think if I take off 
the Shazian boots, this, that. I might have to take off a few more things, but I think I can go in and, and just kill him with the rune longsword. Whew, that was a tough one, but we got fighting as intended. I accidentally wasted one of my keys too, so I gotta jump back to the world and we'll be finishing on 5kc. Okay, there are my five kills, and I believe that means... Hate this menu. Yes, Bryophyta is seven for seven, totally completed. So we never have to come back here unless we get a bunch more keys and decide to go for the essence, which, you know, we might or might not. Okay, now that we've finished Barbasalt, I guess we can knock out the uh, Kandarin Medium Diary, which will give us a boost for Marks of Grace when we get to the rooftop. And there is the, oh, cool. It's a combat achievement. It's a medium task. And that is everything I need for the diary. So once I get out of here, I can go collect my prize. Medium candor and rewards. 10% more experience for maples. Wax is faster. Cold trucks. Oh, okay. So I don't get anything for the... So it's just 10% then, or 5% for this, uh, the Sears course. But that's fine. We still get to put this onto thieving. And now we're going to knock out these giant champion scrolls and these clue scrolls. Two caskets to open. Nothing really there. And purple fire lighters. Two terrible clues. Okay, now to use up our giant champion scroll. I think we just give it to this guy Larxus. Yeah, let me do it. Go down the trap door. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's melee only in this, uh, in this thing. And I'm pretty sure they're like super easy to kill. Yeah. Oh, can't use prayer. All right. Well, this should still be pretty easy. There is the giant champion completed. And I think if we go up here, there's... Yep, we can walk right over to it and get a pretty sweet thumbnail. Apparently, I just searched this little chest and I got this champion's lamp. Okay, slayer and hit points experience. Cool. Oh, a slayer level. 53. No way. All right, sweet. Speaking of which, I think I might go do some regular Slayer now. Yeah, that sounds good. That or Rag and Bone Man too. I'm going to decide based on what the task is. Also, if you try to teleport out of here, guy won't let you. Weird. I know I'm a high enough level for Konar, but the tasks are kind of inconvenient and my skills really aren't good enough to like let me do it anywhere. So I'm going to stick with Cheldar because if I get some sort of like, you know, burstable task, I can at least do it in the catacombs. So without further ado, Pyre Fiends. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's good or bad. I was gearing up for the Pyre Fiend task and then I was like, I don't really feel like AFK in combat right now. So I think I'm just going to do Rag and Bone Man 2 because it's like active and I can you know, participate in it. So I think I'll do that. Got to take a quick break from Rag and Bone Man 2 to knock out Skippy and the Mogers, which will also help us for when we eventually get the Crystal Key and can do the Falador Medium Diary. I'm running around buying stuff. I also figured I'd buy this uh, green dehyde body since I used all the others in clues. And I'm going to be doing some ranging soon with my new rune crossbow. Man, I just spent like 30k on fishing explosives. Those are expensive. Okay, well, there was no completion screen. I thought even for mini quests, like maybe there'd be something. But there's Skippy and the Mogers. Green log. I accidentally got rid of my last thing of vinegar. So while I'm here, I might as well get those cool little trading card things from leagues that everyone's doing. Hey, these look pretty sweet. How do they... Do I just duel? Oh. <laughs> Okay, for some reason it seems like I have to use regular logs to light these fires instead of other types. So I guess I'll get regular logs. All right, there is Rag and Bone Man 2, 5,000 prayer XP. I think that's a level, yep, 51. Got this cool ram skull hat. Pretty sweet, I guess. I think I'll take my new fighter torso for a spin and see if I can get some defenders in here. I've got 56 kills with no defenders, so it'd be nice to get, you know, a few. Bronze defender, iron defender, steel defender, black defender, 65 defense. There's all of our tokens gone. We'll have to come back later, but we got all the way up to black defender. Easy casket. Back at Tempros for a bit, and we'll see how many reward points we get this time. Finished up my time at Tempros. I'm 78 fishing. I'd like to, I'd like to hold on to my rewards until I hit 81 fishing, because that's when you get like the higher tier rewards of like 
manta rays and sea turtles and stuff. I don't know how viable that's going to be because I'm three levels off and it's pretty slow experience, but I would have like probably like 500 ish rewards by then. So it'd be really, really cool to see if I could get the Tome of Water and the Dragon Harpoon and also get the higher tier rewards. So I may do that, especially because the, the crystal key chance I can get from so many other places and it's, you know, not very high. So that's a possibility. But in the meantime, we have 65 defense. So I think let's go just knock out King's Ransom. Took a break in the middle of the King's Ransom quest to do some Warriors Guild token farming and we got 1340. So we're set for the next time that we need to do the Defender grind. This part in King's Ransom with this like ball bouncing animation is I think my favorite animation in this whole game. It's just like so unique and it looks so cool. It's very nostalgic. I I, I think it's dope. King's Ransom completed 33k defense, 5k magic, a lamp, and access to the Night Waves training ground which can give us chivalry and piety. So we're just gonna Throw this on thieving, 5k thieving, nice. I think I can do most of the Night Waves training now, if not all of it, but I'm gonna take a look on the uh, wiki and see what I need. There's the end of the Night Waves training. We get chivalry, piety, 20k in hit point, strength, attack, defense, and I can, okay, 66 defense, 67 strength. We are pretty close to a hit points and attack level. Again, I'm going for 85 combat, which would be really nice to get me to Neve, which would be like a really great way to start Slayer because the other Slayer Master assignments are just god awful. So it's good to have these two things out of the way. We're a long way off from chivalry and piety, but it's always nice to have. Figure I might as well try and knock out this Pyre Fiends task so that when I hit 85 combat, I can at least um, go to Neve and not have, you know, an outstanding task there. And then if I finish this, I think I might just Turial skip for a bit. I was originally planning on doing Wildy Slayer to get a bunch of points, but with the Wilderness rework that just happened, I think the Wilderness is going to be kind of a disaster for a while, so I'm going to stay out of there and just uh, Turial skip. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. It was actually a pretty quick task. So I'm actually feeling like going back to Temporos for a bit, so I think I'm going to do that for a while. Found this shooting star on the way to Temporos. Might as well hang out here for a bit. I'm not sure how common knowledge this is, but at Temporos, when you're wearing the Spirit Angler outfit, it works as a rope. So you can you don't have to bring a rope in anymore. You can just wear the outfit and free up an inventory space for more harpoon fish. Finished up my Temporos for now. I'm I today was the day that the Dragon Pickaxe was released in Volcanic Mine. So I figure I would try and learn Volcanic Mine because I need mining XP. I need smithing XP. You get it through buying ore packs, so you get ores while you're searching for the dragon pick. I know there's a solo method. I think you need stamina to do it, but I figure I'll just see if I can learn, you know, the three-man method, maybe join some ongoing teams. I'm sure the Discord is, like, blowing up right now. So you need 150 kudos, so I'm going to see how many I can get. I am two kudos off from having the 150 I need to do Volcanic Mine. The last thing I can do is Curse of the Empty Lord, so I think I might do that. I also have this antique lamp. Obviously, it goes on thieving. Curse of the Empty Lord brought me all the way out to the wilderness, so I figure I would open the muddy chest with my muddy key. There is Curse of the Empty Lord, I guess. I mean, I, I didn't get anything for finishing it. I thought I got a little, like, award or something. I'll have to uh, go look it up, but... Either way, I'm going to go enchant some of these orbs at the air obelisk as well, because I figured I'm down here, why not? And my buddy told me I can buy battle staves with the Varrock Diary and then put air orbs on them and it like makes you money and, you know, I'm low on money, so it'd be a good thing to do. Oh, it's a hard task too. Okay, I did not know that. All right, there's the Curse of the Empty Lord handed in. We have 158 kudos. We can put this lamp on thieving. Oh, 10k, nice. All right, and that's one thing checked off for Volcanic Mine. Time to head there and uh, learn it, I guess. I talked to Peter to let him know that I finished building the camp, which I actually did a while ago, but he gave me some fossils, and I can now do Volcanic Mine, so we'll go and check that out. So I watched a few videos. I watched Mudkip's video, which was just, I guess, like a rehash of another video, but it's pretty simple. You run down here, you throw water here, you go north, you have uh, Prey Range on, and, you know, uh, Stamina's if you have them, and then Prayer Potions in your inventory. 
you're going to inspect this vent, run over here, throw more water down, inspect this vent, and then go south. Then you're going to go back to where you started, which is um, right where this boulder is. You're going to mine the boulder, pick up this large rock, block the vent, mine it again. Sometimes there isn't a boulder here when you first start. Sometimes there is. It doesn't really matter. Oh, God. Yeah, so stuff will fall on you, and you'll get hit with, like, you know, these attacks and whatever. That's why it's important to bring food. Then once you get to 408 points over here, come here, climb the staircase, exit the game, and that's it. And it's pretty simple. You just do that over and over. All right, we did 10 games, it looks like, enough to buy our first ore pack. I don't know the rates of the dragon pickaxe, but maybe we'll get it on this first one. We will not. And that doesn't really give a ton of ores. That's kind of a bummer. So it was a good session at Volcanic Mine, but I don't think I'm going to be back there for a while. And the reason being is that I think it's just a higher level activity. It was draining my supplies. I was using like one dose of prayer pot and almost one dose of run restore every time I was in there. And if I was to do a mass world, I would need like higher prayer and even more supplies. And even if I got spooned a dragon pick, it's like two and a half million to repair it. It just doesn't seem like something I need to or should be doing at my kind of low level. So I'm just going to head back to Temporos, enjoy my time here. And then uh, eventually at some point we will head back and finish out that dragon defender grind. Back to the Cyclopses and we'll see how many defenders we can get. We have 1355 token. Mithril defender, the first longbone on the account. Adamant defender, rune defender. Unfortunately, we are out of tokens and we are also out of time. That is going to be all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you again next time.